Hey folks, Engineer775 here, I'm out in my shop. Um, you know, I get a lot of requests for portable solar generators and I've looked at a lot of them, I've mentioned that before. And we do offer the Sunrunner and the Solar Maxes and the different sizes and voltages and inverters and, and, and all of that. But a lot of cases, there's just not enough solar, not enough power as an input. So, got together with uh, Johnny Valentine again, the gentleman you've seen in the videos, I've been working with him. Um, on whole house systems, but we see there's a there's this there's this gap between small portable systems that you see like Goal Zero and the solar generator and the Solar Max and Sunrunner and all those, and then to a, a whole house system. And there's a big range in the middle where people really don't have the budget for the bigger systems, don't want to waste their time on the real small systems, and they want something in between that could run their well pump, keep their freezers going, refrigerators. And that requires a lot more solar energy than people realize, and a lot bigger battery bank. And so, if it's truly portable, it's just not enough power. And a lot of it has to do with the battery, not, not, just not having enough capacity. So what we have here, I want to show you this system here. So let's take a look. On this system that you see, it's just basically on a metal shelf, so it doesn't have the fancy packaging. We decided to put more time and energy, and uh, Johnny's done a great job building this system. And what we decided to do is not cut any corners when it comes to the equipment quality. So you'll see a Midnight Classic, the top of the line charge controller from the solar system. Midnight Combiners, and there's a lot going on here I'll tell you about in a second. Uh, Samlex, we have found these Samlex inverters, 2,000 and 3,000 watt inverters to be pretty, pretty tough inverters. But we're also doing a Midnight, I mean I'm sorry, a Magnum. 4024 version of this which will have a and again a pure sign 4000 watt inverter that has a built-in uh, charging capability again we're basing this on a 24 volt system we've also added on this iota 40 amp charger and it's right now i've got it hooked to a little honda generator so i can also charge the battery off of my iota and um, and that's also breakered everything is breakered and in this in this combiner box is a very safe system it's everything to code and some neat bells and whistles we've got remotes for the inverter so we can turn the turn the remote on and off you can mount this somewhere in the in the house if you'd like you can turn the system on and uh, go through its startup sequence so we're running about 27 volts again you have displays you can see what the solar is doing right now we're about 115 watts the battery bank is pretty full, we're at 27.6 volts. It's about to go into float right now, it's in absorb. So let me, um, let me show you inside this combiner. So again, heavy duty breakers, heavy duty 125 amp breaker for the inverter. There's breakers and GFIs for the battery bank, the solar coming in, and also for the IOTA battery charger. We also have set this thing up with a midnight combiner that has the capability of adding four strings we can put 2,500 watts of solar. That's what we see as a limitation many times. These systems just don't have enough solar. They all claim to have 1,800 watts and all this, but they really, the sustainable power that you have is the amount of solar, the amount of energy that you can produce. And in this case, from solar panels. So we're dealing with up to 2,500 watts. That's a nice system and that the, uh, that's what the mat midnight is rated for on 24 volts about 2,500 watts of solar coming in. We also have what is called the Whizbang Junior. <laughs> it's a, a shunt system, so you can actually monitor what's going on in terms of power in, power out. It's programmed to the exact type of batteries. Now, I just had these in the shop. These are two 888D 12-volt batteries in series for a 24-volt battery bank. But we do lead acid. We do all different types. This Some people want to set this up in their house and garage and they don't want to deal with the lead acid that scares them we do the sealed AGM but we prefer the lead acid for, for, for performance reasons so let me run something with this okay so we've just turned on a load we turn on a water heater and you saw the watts from the solar go way way up so what it's allowing it to do is allowing solar energy to come in. So we bumped up from, I don't know what it was, 50 watts to 475 watts coming in. So now the solar energy is being passed through the system, charging the batteries, but now it's also going directly to a load. The load that we're running is a heat pump water heater. You can put a variety of loads on the system. I'll show you the front of the inverter. 
So right now we're just we, all we have is um, we're just, you can plug in. You have two duplex receptacles. You can just plug in and run whatever load you want. So we're running about an 800 watt load right now. I did run a big hair dryer at 1900 watts on this thing. Had no problem. The Samlex stayed nice and quiet and cool. So there's no problem running it at its full capacity. The other thing you can do is take this plate off and you can do a full power off of this to get the full 2000 watts of pure sign 24, uh, yeah, pure sign 120 volt AC being inverted off the 24 volt battery bank. So a lot of options. Again, on the, this is the small unit we're building. Still has the capability, lots of capability, lots of solar. And um, the next one up will be the Magnum. 4024 and that'll give you a lot more so okay I'm going to show you uh, why we're running I'm going to show you the IOTA's capability so I'm going to turn the breaker on for the IOTA and that's the breaker there and I'm going to show you what it can do uh, I'll probably have to show you on my meter but I'm going to fire up the little generator so this gives you a solar option and a generator option to charge your battery bank okay so now you see 23 amps the batteries are pretty full, so we're doing a couple things. We're running a load, and we are uh, charging with the IOTA generator, the IOTA charger from the little Honda generator. It'll go up to 40 amps, um, but the, the batteries are, are in uh, absorb mode, so they're kind of full. But there's 23 amps at 24 volts, so we're putting 500 watts in the, in the battery bank, which is pretty awesome. All right, keep it on there. See, I just turned the IOTA charger off. I'm going to turn the solar back on. So this the, gives you a great opportunity to charge the batteries at night if you need to. Again, it's an accessory that we really think is great. A lot of people have the small generators. The input for the systems, we're putting a minimum of three uh, solar panels on the system. So anywhere from 750 to 900 watts of solar. These are just setting up here. This is what we're experimenting with uh, running the system. So again, the system would come with solar panels, in inverter charger, charge controller, combiner, all the breakers, the wires, the connections for the batteries. We can s send you batteries or not. Sometimes it's cheaper to get them locally, depending on where you are in relationship to us. And, um, and then having that ability to actually have a generator input to the system but we can do up to 2500 watts of solar input on these two systems we're calling a small and a large we really don't have a name for it yet but we're calling it a modular uh, solar generator to fill in that gap between those that are spending 20 to 40,000 on a house system and those that are spending 1500 on a little portable this kind of fills in that gap and it allows you to do things like run your well pumps keep some lights on keep your freezers and refrigerators going maybe some security cameras so maybe five or six critical circuits in your home, washing machine, you know, just allowing you to still have some creature comforts in a grid down scenario. So if I can help you out, please send me an email at info at practical preppers and we'll quote you a system. And just uh, if you can, if you send me an email and you want a quote on a system like this, just please send me your address and phone number and you're always welcome to call as well. All right, signing out.